Welcome to Breaking Stereotypes. Okay, so a couple weeks ago, I talked about the taking of Fort Ticonderoga. And I was having difficulty with the name, etc. And I really wasn't familiar with the story. So I want to thank Suzanne Coviello. She's the one who gave me a box of pencils from that city because they're they're known for their like fantastic it says on the package the best pencils ever and a short story of fort ticonderoga so i want to read just briefly from that because there's one phrase in there that again breaks stereotypes the capture of fort ticonderoga new york on may 10th 1775 was the first offensive victory for american forces in the revolutionary war it secured the strategic access both north to Canada and to the Hudson River Valley and netted the Patriots an important cachet of artillery. Due to a shortage of soldiers in North America, the British garrison at the fort had fallen to about 50 men by this time. Ethan Allen and his band of Green Mountain Boys, accompanied by Benedict Arnold, who held a commission from Massachusetts, silently rolled across, rode across Lake Champlain from present-day Vermont and stormed the fort in a swift, late-night sneak attack. The lone British sentry was quickly pushed aside. Alan, Arnold, and a few other men charged up the stairs towards the officer's quarters. When the British commander asked under whose authority he is acting, Alan allegedly replies, and here's the key thing to see. Can you imagine this? In war, by what right do you do this? By what authority? He said, in the name of the great Jehovah and the Continental Congress, and demands the British surrender the fort. Nobody is killed in the attack. They take over the fort. In so doing, it wasn't even the wonderful strategicness of the fort that they won. It was all of the artillery that was stored in the fort that they got. Um, these guns got moved down to Boston where they, um, it says here, they marched in 1776 and they, quote, compelled the British to evacuate the city of Boston. And there you have it, the story. But could you imagine when somebody asks a, a military force in who, under whose authority are you acting? And somebody were to answer in the name of the great Jehovah and the Continental Congress. And that is our history. That's what Breaking Stereotypes is all about. Something to think about.